So I updated my alarm system. This is just a homemade one I made. And I uh, thought I'd make a video showing what I'm doing there. So I'll kind of start with here. I'm just using a, a five blade relay. And uh, so what I did was, I'm just going to put that there. Oops. Hey, buddy. What are you doing? So, anyways, uh, um, so the way this works is I ran the ground. And uh, this is a good spot, so I just ran a ground line from, uh, let's see, that would be uh, pin 85. And then, so the next thing you want to do is have a trigger line. So, pin 86 goes to a 5-volt um, source. That's a hidden switch in my vehicle somewhere. Um, so, basically, uh, well, I'll get back to what it does here in a second. So, then, um, pretty much, then I take my uh, pin 30. In this case, it's a blue line, and that goes uh, what I call my source of the whole thing. And so I've run in this to the input from my ignition that would go to my starter. is going to my blue line. So it's like my starter is hooked up here. And then, uh, so my yellow line, I believe, goes to my actual starter. So the way this works is if I close my switch, let's see, I confused myself there. Um, if I close my switch, oh, which is going to be my white line, it'll ground out to the to the ground, and which will close close the contact, and it'll take the input from my start or from my ignition, and it'll run it to my starter, and my car will start if I close the line. But what I did is to one up this is because um, you know you want to know if somebody's messing with your car, so the red line is uh, normally closed. You can think of it as hot. Um, so I ran my red line to my siren. And so now, the way this works is kind of cool. If somebody tries to start my car without activating my hidden switch, the siren will go off. And then, of course, if I close the switch, then the car will start normally. So the car won't even start because the starter's not hooked up um, unless I close the switch. And if somebody tries to start it without closing the switch, then the alarm will go off and I'll. I'll do a little demo how that works there. If anybody's more interested in how I did this, um, just leave a comment below and I'll show you. Ooh, the wind's picking up. Be right back. So I figure I'll make a quick shot of what it's like. So I'm going to get in there and I'm not going to flip my uh, my kill switch and uh, show you what it's going to sound like if somebody tries to start um, the car without so flipping the switch there. And then, of course, if I uh, actually flipped the switch, it would just start. And uh, so, anyways, that's about it. Hope this uh, maybe video gives you some ideas on uh, some ways you could uh, alarm your car. That's kind of different. Anyways, thanks for watching.